Now as a big Civilization fan, I have noticed a lot of very familiar sounding units inside of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, so I figured we'd do a Civilization edition of Tabs. So for our first battle, we have the Japanese Samurai here on the left hand side, and uh, I'm actually using both Samurais, so the Basic Samurais and then the Samurai Masters. And then on the right hand side, I'm, I'm calling these the American Minutemen, um, I guess you could also say that that's like the French Musketeers, but um, yeah, this should be pretty interesting, I wanted to make sure that we always have like performance heavy impact uh, so that we have as many numbers as possible right now my number my 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 guess is is got to be on the the Japanese because if if the Japanese break through and uh, and destroy enough of these guys I, I think it might be over but uh, let's go ahead and find out here they come so I think I think they're gonna fire off one shot I think it takes about like five minutes no not five, five five seconds five seconds to reload okay here here they go Bam! Alright, so these guys are dead. They're getting stabbed all over the place. And I'm guessing those Samurai Masters are going to be pretty devastating. Okay, so all these guys are dead. They're trying to back up. Holy crap! Oh yeah, they, they're they goners. Alright, so how about over here? See, this is the problem. The second line. Oh, this is still so many. They still have to kill so many Samurai. Oh man, see if they just get there. Oh, 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 that's it right there. He, he broke the first line. The Samurai Masters are leading the charge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep, this is exactly what... I oh, this is going to be close. Oh no, 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 no. This is not going to be close. Because the Samurai Masters, you can't... They're they're already here. Yep. Oh, they're chopping heads off. They're doing flips. They're they're doing their thing. Oh, they're dead. They're dead. Holy crap. I uh, actually wasn't expecting it to be that close. That was that was a little bit closer than I than I thought. So since the Japanese won the first round, I'm going to bring in a new Civilization, and this is actually going to be a crossover between Civilization 5 and Civilization 6. These are China's units, so we've got the, uh, the Chu, the Chu, uh, something, the, the Bowman, pretty much, that China had in Civilization 5, and then the Crouching Tiger Cannons over here. So, again, adding up to 7,500 each apiece. Uh, for me, I think the Japanese might still have this. It all depends on how much these guys in the perimeters are able to do, but uh, let's let's go ahead and find out right now. Uh, they need to spread apart. Oh my gosh, those cannons did a lot more damage than I thought. Oh, they shot their own cannon. <gasps> oh, you dis you killed one of your own cannons. Okay, well they're doing a pretty good job actually. I have to give to the the Japanese side of things. They're, they they went after the perimeters. Oh, this is close. This is going to be another really really close one. Oh, I think I think I think China has it. Oh, yeah, that Samurai Master. You gotta watch the Samurai Master. There's only one left. Oh, there's oh, there's only one cannon left, too. Oh, my gosh. There's just this one cannon. That's it. That's it. He's got he's got some distance in between them. He's got some... Oh, there's two. I don't think anyone's operating that one. How, how is that happening? Holy crap. Two cannons versus one... Sa oh, in the face. In the face. <laughs> Holy crap, that was a close one. Uh, Alright, well, China won that round. Okay, round three. This time, on the left-hand side, we have Rome. And uh, I'm using pretty much the footman units as the legions. I mean, that's closest to, like, any sort of sword-wielding unit here. And then we have the actual ballistas that they had from Civilization V. So, uh, this should be uh, pretty interesting. I, I think my money's on Rome this time around. Uh, again, if, if they can break down and get to these... These arrows, these these archers, there's no chance for China, I don't think. Let's find out. Uh, but those cannons are the most powerful. Wow, okay, that that really did... I feel like the ballistas just took out like a, a good line of their own units. But uh, let's see. The ballistas hit hard. Wow, yeah, those things do a lot of... It's pretty much just... It's pretty much just these siege units, basically, from what I see. Oh, they, they dominated. Oh, yeah, red, huge victory. Not, it wasn't a super easy victory, but that was, uh, that was nothing. Okay, so I think this one's going to be a really good one. On the right-hand side, this time we have Greece. These are basically Hoplite units. They are essentially Hoplites, as well as we have the Companion uh, Cavalry, right, from Civilization V. Uh, yeah, I mean, these are basically chariots in tabs, but uh, they, they're going to do a lot of damage. I think that I don't see anyone really taking down this formation. This is going to be tough. If there's anyone that can do it, though, it would be Rome, because we've got two melee units and kind of backing up support units back behind. I, I, my money is definitely on Greece, though. I, if, if Rome doesn't do it, then I can't see anyone really. Oh, look at that right there. Okay, well, you just, what did you do? Holy crap! <laughs> Holy crap! All right, calm down. Calm down. I'm, I don't know what's going on. Now, the, these hoplites are actually not called hoplites, but these shield units pretty much just throw their, are you dead? Is that it? 
Wow. No way. I was not expecting that. I think it's because they were all shields. They needed something else. They need a little bit of something else. Okay, so this time around we're going to be doing kind of a crossover because uh, I don't know where else to use the Hawachas, but these are Korea's units. These are really, really cool units. I really like them, especially the way that they're displayed in tabs. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I love this so much, by the way, before I press start. It's just, it's so much that reminds me of AI-only battles, except an actual representation of, of these units. So, uh, okay, so let's start this up. These guys are going to fire a lot of arrows, and uh, it could be, it could make the difference here. Oh, are you going to miss all of it, though? Oh, or did you just take out all the blistas? So now the Hawachas are done. So they have, like, pretty much nothing. Okay. So, wow. Rome is going to win again. That really didn't make much of a difference. You know what? If I change up the formation, I bet you that would make uh, a, a pretty... Let me, let me do that. I bet you anything. If I get rid of a few of these guys and put them on the front lines, or actually on the corners is what I really need to do, and I'll just do that right now. Uh, whoops. Okay, the Hawachas are gone. Okay, so I think this is it. I think I just needed a little bit better of a formation. Uh, I've got the cavalry here on the outside, which is actually chariots. I know, it's a little bit confusing. And by the way, I don't think I've pointed this out. I mean, this is literally called the Grease tab. So, uh, yeah, it's just kind of kind of funny. We the Vikings tab, the Crusader tab, things like that. Napoleon tab. Okay, so this is it. I think this is the only time... This is the time where Rome will be defeated. Maybe. Yep, that's kind of what I figured. Uh, the cavalry would just do so much damage. Oh, here's the only issue. Is there still this huge, like, massive body count in the middle? Nope, there's... They've, uh... Rome's gonna win again! Rome is... An, they're absolute monsters! What monster? There it is. Okay, so let's see if a combination of Elizabeth from Civilization V and Queen Victoria from Civilization VI can defeat the mighty Romans. I still don't think so. I, I don't know. Because we've got the uh, the longbowmen out here on the outsides and then the redcoats right here in the middle. I don't I don't think this is going to work at all, but I wanted to include England in this edition. Uh, you have to. You absolutely have to. Okay, so let's, let's see what happens. Let's see if they even have a chance. Uh, it really depends on... Wow, you just... You killed so many of your own units. Um, the problem is, okay, yeah, they, they're, they're gonna kill, oh my gosh, it got absolutely dominated. Okay, so I, I shouldn't be putting any row of musket men in front, because they will totally shoot the guy in front of them. So that, that was, that was kind of the problem, kind of the problem there. Here, let's, uh, let, let's, let's just, let's just do this live. Screw it, we're gonna do it live. We're gonna do it live. So I'll put you guys here on the outsides, and if anything, maybe if I were to just, like, I don't know, maybe put you guys, how would a formation look? Maybe out here. This is actually going to make a pretty big difference. Uh, I don't even know if it's fair. This might be, this might be a little bit unfair, but we're going to try it. Yeah, it's going to make a, uh, a really big difference. Okay, I'm not going to be able to, to be super anal like I have been about uh, making sure everything looks good, but... Oh, this is going to be a difference maker. There's not as many, it's not, it's not as many up, uh, at the top, but that's, that's okay. Let's see. Let's see if the, uh... The Romans get confused here. Oh, it's definitely going to make a difference. So you still have all of these guys in the middle, although the ballistas are just dominating. Holy crap. Yeah, it's the ballistas, man. There's got to be something that takes those guys out because uh, right now they're <laughs> they're unstoppable. Come on, little man. Oh, no. You know, you got, you, you got eaten. Okay, so I feel like this might be one of the only combinations I can think of that might be able to defeat Rome. I've got Japan and China working together. We've got the Chinese cannons, and then the uh, the samurai have returned with the uh, samurai masters. Actually, I really don't like the placement of this one. Let's go ahead and move him back. Okay, and uh, let's see how this goes. I mean, if those cannons don't make an actual impact... Okay, so the cannons just d demolish the ballistas, like, easily. Whoa! Okay, so this is just going to be a battle of, like, siege units, pretty much. Because... And the oh, we've got four cannons left and, like, three ballistas. Just everyone, just dead. Wait, wait, even the Samurai Masters? Okay, I'm pretty shocked at that. Uh, they got it. They got it. That was it right there. There's still, like, three cannons left. They just all kill each other. Because it, it just forms this, like, massive, you know, I don't know, big, our body of whatever. I can't even say anything right now. Okay, and for our final battle, we have the musket man on one side. And, uh, and does anyone want to take a guess on what these guys are? There's actually a reason why they're not in formation. 
because they're barbarians and uh, barbarians pop up anywhere okay this is gonna have a super uh, heavy impact on my performance we'll see how this goes uh, and then I wanted to include musket man again because uh, a lot of units a lot of civilization uh, a lot of civilization civs had musket men as their unique unit janissaries is another thing that from the Ottomans so let's see if my computer can run this uh, it looks like it's going just barely though just barely okay we'll get to see it in nice slow motion holy crap that's terrifying they, they're not gonna make it and it's just one big line too so I don't think oh unless maybe they can make a difference but they're gonna start shooting each other I think they're gonna accidentally sh shoot each other oh the barbarians are just ravaging I didn't think about this but the only thing that probably could have stopped the Romans were a bunch of barbarians, huh? I did not... <laughs> I should have made that comparison. Dang, I, I totally messed up on my, my history there. Wow. All right. Yeah, do not mess with so many barbarians. Just a landslide victory for the barbarians of civilization. So I wanted to make just kind of a quick crossover video between Civilization and Tabs. I think that there are definitely some units that cross over, as well as I think in the future of this game there will be a lot more units that cross over from the Civilization series. But let me know in the comment section down below, that's mainly why I wanted to make this video. Uh, what ideas do you have that I can do inside of Total Accurate Battle Simulator? It's still such a hard word to, or hard game to say. Um, I'm sure there's already a lot of great ideas. And I, can, I could probably push my computer by a lot more so we can get a lot bigger battles and uh, a lot of very interesting fusion I I ideas between these two games. Or it doesn't even have to be between these two games. A lot of people have been suge suggesting like Walking Dead scenarios. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.